and howdy y'all what's going on this is Mace Valor once again and of course I'm here to talk about some more Amazon stuff now lately I've been doing pretty good getting more blocks than usual uh, I've been, you know t taking some advice from the people in the comment section down below show some fucking love please I love engagement because I hey one thing that's really cool about having a small channel is that it's easy for me to engage with the very few people that actually contribute to the conversation. In today's conversation, of course it's about Amazon, but it's specifically about things that I think that Amazon can improve on. And one of the things I think that they can improve on... Uh, all right, so check this out. So I drive a truck, right? And driving a larger vehicle, I can take bigger blocks, um, take more packages, right? Now the really cool thing about when I went out today I, this morning I was on the app and I was like, I, I wasn't even looking and usually I always have to be super, super, like super about it, right? But I was just, yeah, yeah, talking to my girlfriend, looking at our kid and bam, whoa, oh, a five hour block. I haven't seen a five hour block since the very first day I started, well, first week that I started doing Amazon. The cool thing about five hour blocks, at least in the Las Vegas area, they pay 90 fucking dollars. Holy shit. And typically, in my experience, I can do a five hour block in what? like three hours, that's, that's fucking, that's golden, I love that. It's far more effective for me to do, uh, I, I, I love it, I love the five hour blocks, they're fucking fantastic, right? But they don't really come out uh, very often. And uh, obviously in order to get them, you have to have a large vehicle. And I thought that having a larger vehicle, I would see more of them. Because, yeah, I do see vehicles that are larger at the Amazon warehouse, but I see mostly regular sized, you know, sedans and whatnot. So, getting that was like really cool, but even better was when I went to their warehouse because Amazon's been such a clusterfuck lately, at least in my area, trying to figure out new shit. When I first got there, when I first started um, Amazon Flex, you would go in, you would say, hey, this is, um, I'm here at this time, and this is the length of block that I have. Now, you just come in and say, what time do I start? I start at this time, and then you go in, and then you, you pull up, and then there's a whole row of, of, of the boxes and shit and little, little wheeling shelves. And, and the cool thing is all you have to do is just fucking pick. So whenever I go up, I make sure I bust out my phone. I got like three, four, five of them in front of me. And I take a look, and it's like, all right, here's what I have to choose from. Uh, here's an, let me see this box. What's the address on this? Okay, let me type that in real quick. Yeah, that's not bad. Or, oh, this one sucks, I'm not going to deliver these in this area, I don't want to go over there today. So it's actually kind of cool that the drivers are actually getting a little bit more of a choice, right? So this whole independent contractor thing, it feels like that going in and actually having this choice of what you're going to be getting, is you kind of know what you're getting into ahead of time. So that, I feel, lines up perfectly with what a, doing it in, in independent contractor stuff was. Perfectly. I think it's great. So... What I thought is bad though, like it was great for me, but it was bad for Amazon. I sign up for a five hour block today. I go in and you know, it even says in the app, get the block, um, get the, the packages for the block that you're assigned. Now I'm getting a five hour block, which means I get $90. So you would want, you would think that Amazon would prefer that I get, um, that my stuff is for that adequate amount of time. And I went over and talked to the guy when I, when I scanned in and I was he's like, hey, so which one do you want me to get? And I was about to say, hey, I'm doing a five hour block, but he just cut me off and was like, just any of them that are next to your car, don't worry about it. I'm like, all right, fuck it, went over. And it was like, what, like around 40 packages, if that. And I was like, shit, dude, this is fucking dope. I'm gonna get this shit done quick. Now, didn't really work out that way because the downside, that I've noticed. Um, lately I've been getting a lot of commercial stuff, which I have no problem with. Um, I do think there's room for improvement there. I think that this would be wonderful if commercial packages and residential packages were in their own separate thing. Now I do understand that if this person's going to be in this general area, that it, you know you should just mix them together and have no problem with it. But I do think it would be beneficial for Amazon. It's like, hey, we have these areas that it's a lot of commercial packages. Fuck it, let's have this whole block just be commercial, right? Just be commercial, just for, for large vehicles. I think that would be 
fantastic. And the reason why is because yesterday. Today was okay. Uh, I had a lot of issues with the damn fucking GPS because they've been updating their things. And I've noticed that whenever it comes to delivering at like an office building or anything commercial for some reason, the residential, I think the app works great. But anything commercial, the app fucking wigs out. I cannot figure out where the fuck a, a simple place is, right? And I always have to copy it and put it into ways. So it's really interesting this whole idea of pushing all the commercial stuff into one area. I think it would be very beneficial for the driver. And if things are beneficial for the driver, that that overlaps back onto Amazon. If if you can get your driver out there completing stuff as quickly as possible, that's gonna ultimately make things more time efficient for you. So the problem that I ran into yesterday when uh, I was driving out, delivering stuff at houses. Oh, I got a few commercial packages. I have to go to the Howard Hughes Center or what a business center. No problem. I'll just go and do my thing. The problem that came up was there were, I had fucking five or so packages that was going to this one office building. Those five bought well at this one building. I had like like 11 packages total, but five of the 11 were to one office building to one individual, but they were the biggest heaviest ones I had to take in there it it was a pain in the ass because I had to make several trips because there was no way that I could like double up like these were big ass boxes that even though some of them weren't as heavy as others they were just so awkwardly shaped there was no fucking way I could fuck with it Here's, check this shit out a big ass building behind me I got a bunch of packages going towards it but they're all like big as fuck <sighs> so back at the truck I have 10 of those, no, nothing on the inside, none of the little, little fucking easy ones you could just carry whatever in the yellow envelope. These big ass heavy motherfuckers, wait, how many more? I think I got like, no, 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 not 10. There was 11 that was for this place, I just dropped off four, so whatever math is. But dude, this, this <laughs> fucking Amazon, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, that's the fucking bullshit that I had to deal with. But, you know, it's part of the game. It's just part of how it works. And, yeah, I might bitch moan and complain about it, but I do this for the betterment. Every time I complain about something, I should say this. Every time I have a grievance about something and I make it known, it's to further the conversation. Because I do want to see Amazon succeed with this. If in order for Amazon to succeed, they need to take a look at the grievances that people are having. And every time I get something up in, in the app when I'm done with the shift and it says, hey, here's a little questionnaire. Would you like to, you know, give us your input? I, I'm always honest. If, if, if I agree that things are good, then I say that things are good. If I disagree, then I disagree. One of the things I noticed lately is um, it has less to do with like Amazon has more to kind of do with social constructs. And I don't really give a shit about that. I've been watching this channel long enough. But I noticed that certain people get preferential treatment at the warehouse. Um, just, just, you know, you can tell. Um, how do I say this without, not, with like, without alienating a, a huge portion of my demographic? There's, let's, there's a lot of black people at the warehouse that work there. They just so happen to be black. Oh, well, who gives a shit? But I've noticed that they are a lot nicer to people of the same skin color. Um, I, I don't think that, I don't want to turn this into like some sort of social political issue because I don't really think it's that big of a deal. It's just something that I've noticed. Uh, and you, no matter where you go, no matter what job you have, you're going to run into some degree of that. But as long as I'm doing what I do and only worrying about the things that affect me, then I'll be fine. Uh, I'm, like I said, there's no point in going into it because it really doesn't affect me, but I do bring it up just because it is something that I've noticed. Anyway, um, throw your comments down in the comment section down below. Let me know any different... Uh, I'm going to keep fucking proclaiming this. What ideas do you have that might fix scheduling? That's what I talked about in my last video. Anyway, this has been Mace Valor. And real quick, quick plug right at the end. Download TubeBuddy. Uh, like, just do it for free. Or You don't even... It's just... For me, as a creator, it's it's helped my channel in ways that I can't imagine. Um, 
if you're serious about YouTube or serious about creating content, and even just like, like the ones that I'm doing right now, or just like informative community discussion, getting the word out there really helps if you understand SEO. And as a learning tool, TubeBuddy's been fantastic for me. But even if you're just someone that wants to take a look at other channels and see how they're doing and how their performance is, TubeBuddy's fantastic to use for that. Um, I'll put a link in the, the description box down below. This is Mace Valor, and I'm fucking signing off.